Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this little video explaining exactly what we're going to be doing this week um, on the video club. We're doing black comedies, and by that, we mean like black culture comedies, African American comedies. Those are something that, you know, comedy and tragedy, it goes hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. That's why the drama mask is always comedy and tragedy. With tragedy, in this particular case, as a white person who comes from a position of privilege, I don't feel right speaking about this. So what I've done is, is I've asked my little special guest here. This is Super Saiyan Savage God Queen Ruthless Lala, who just had an amazing match tonight uh, here at TWE Chattanooga against Brett Ison. Did you get hit by Brett Eisen? Because you just slaughtered my name. You oh, I'm so sorry. You want to do another take? No, respectfully. You're good. We're just keep going. We're just keep going. Just but yeah. stay in the zone. Let's go. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> black comedies. We're going to be doing things like Coming to America, I'm Going to Get You Sucker, Barbershop, Medea Goes to Jail. You know, so from your perspective, these films, you know, what makes them good? What makes them funny? Why are they something that is a part of not just African American culture, but American culture? I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those things to where our culture has always been given things, have been given things as to make a joke. You know, it happens in major companies, it happens on the indie scene, you know. We, uh, African Americans, honestly, truthfully, we're born great. That's not like overly cognizant, that's confidence, that's facts, you know what I'm saying? So anything that we put our minds to is things that we can do. And sometimes that comes off as very jealous envious you know it, it is what it is but you know sometimes like i said we get thrown things and we make the best of it so like coming to america harlem nights uh i'm gonna get you sucker even medea like it's, it's good to see um things that we go through and also it's good old comedy man like nothing is funner than like laughing and seeing like each other get together and just talk trash because like that's literally what, what me and my best friends do like watching harlem nights i can literally tell you that is like eow we literally sit around talk trash to each other and probably start fighting and then after that you know we're fine you know it's just it's just how family is so um black culture is 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 really good and like i mean all cultures are important you know that's the problem now in day and age like everybody wants to like make things you know so secluded but in the end, like, we're all the same, just different colors. You know, we bleed the same. You know, but black culture is something that is very historical. And so for it to be what it is now and how we're prevailing in a, in a lot of things, it's, it's pretty nice. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me on this. I'm is there anything you'd like to promote? Um, follow me on Instagram at straightruthless1. Uh, also follow my tag team partner, Mike Cobb, at NLMC. 3,000, I believe. If not, just type in my cop. You'll find him. Uh, Caden Sade as well. Um, add us on Twitter as well. Look it up. Lairds are us. Uh, respectfully, though, uh, book me on uh, WrestleMania weekend. I am available. We are all available. Respectfully. Hit us up. Uh, just add us. Respectfully. Yeah. I'm going to go ice my head because I got neat in the head. It Thank hurts. you so much. Thank you Thanks so much. much. Remember, for this vote, it is a pick two. So you get to pick two of the films. Make sure you don't Pick three, make sure you don't pick one. Thank you so much, and we'll see you Friday.